I just want to tell you guys the truth about what I've seen. I've seen demons. I've seen the devil. He kept telling me, are you going to give up your soul? That was the first time they asked me if I'd give up my soul. Something. Experts are investigating after several balls of fire appear shooting over the city just after 9 to 30 p.m. The bright lights only appeared for a few seconds, but you can see them moving across your screen. They were seen all the way in San Clemente and L.A. I was in Richmond, Virginia, and I had, the Lord allowed me to see a demon that was sitting outside in this coliseum. It was the biggest man I had ever seen in my life. He had the, I mean, huge, I mean, he had really broad, broad shoulders. When I walked past the hospital that you can see in the dash cam footage, I walked towards the car and saw the sky light up. It was very bright. I saw a fireball. About 30 seconds later, I heard a loud explosion. as if she's talking to somebody. Manifestation of a demonic entity and a possession of a friend of mine. This thing, out of the corner of my eye, appears. Okay, we have about 10 foot ceilings. This thing stood, you know, about eight, nine foot tall. Big, you know, broad, wide shoulders. So down there, it's just made its way across. And now it's way over there, yeah. Like Are you gonna give up your soul? I remember sitting on the porch and I looked over at this guy and I could see right through him. And he looks at me and he goes, oh, you can see me, huh? I could see his skeletals and all that shit.
then she started like walking like it's like not not the other way but like diagonally like away from me and I kind of like started walking faster up to her and I was like can I pray for you and she's like avoiding me like the plague I felt this wall or wave of, of fear this energy come through my body and it's just pulsating I'm just I'm freaked out okay and at the exact same time all that transpired within a few seconds at the exact same time I, I was only 18 at the time every time I hear that noise I go run out and sit on the porch and I'd wait to see all these people just show up sitting in the room with this one guy and he looks at me and his eyes turn completely blue and lit up the room and he goes that's all I'm gonna show you I just went outside and spotted this out in the sky and we get a lot of planes flying and they leave a contrail but this is very weird looking if I can get it to focus and then when I went back to the convention and I come back outside again he was outside of another entrance that I came out of and again he was by himself he was there was nobody with him and uh so I just continued to pray for him and everything. I was like, can I pray for you? And she was like, keeping this distance, like she could not be near me. And I kept asking her, can I pray for you? And she just was, would not get close to me. I wasn't coming at her aggressively. I wasn't doing anything. I was walking normally. My ex, who was sitting right next to me at the time, she takes a huge breath and she goes, she goes like this. She goes, <sighs> and like was going up the back of the couch and was trying to get away from something. That dude that was 18 or 19 or whatever back then, I saw him 20 years later. I shit you not, he was in a brand new body, 17 years old. I heard an evangelist that was on TV and he described this demon that he had seen. And when he described that demon, he described the the demon that I had seen to a T, I mean, he was talking about the whites of his eyes, how it was solid white. And it was really crazy because it showed me that there was a demon living inside that girl. She was possessed and it manifested through her, through her mumbling and talking to herself. And she starts, you know, crying, tears falling from her eyes. And, and I'm looking at this thing over here in the corner and I look at her and I'm like, and she's looking at it. And I ask her, I'm like, what do you see? What's the matter? What's wrong? Walks up to me and he's like, so you still feel, huh? I remember being in that house watching the demons come in or whatever you call them. Bags 